Jack, I know when you look at that box score, this doesn't represent what your team can do and who they are. But when you look at to what happened tonight, what do you attribute the outcome to? Yeah, it was a little bit of everything. I mean, there's not too many areas that we were uh, efficient or played well in, whether it was the fouling, the rebounding, uh, the ability for them to get into our paint and get it to the rim, uh, even transition. So all of the above. Uh, another things that uh, we talked about that we were going to take care of. Uh, so as a group, it's a great lesson for us. Uh, what we did over the break, uh, were you ready to come out of the break? Um, and so it's a lesson for us because we can't afford it. And uh, this is a game out of one out of the 24 that we lost. And so I'm looking forward to how we respond. Uh, but it's going to be a test of our collective unit of doing everything you possibly can every single day, off days, recovery days, uh, in order to give your all to your team. And it's got to be unconditional, too. It's not if I play this amount of minutes, if I get this amount of shots. Um, you, you have to be an unconditional teammate at this time of year. Uh, because teams are playing for position. P teams are playing to get into the playoffs. And so uh, you cannot have nights like this where we, where we play this bad. When you have a team that is starting that story and trying to find their identity. When you give a team a message like that, how do you see the response or how do you see them navigating a game like this as you start something new? Yeah, it's going to be a, a true test. Uh, and not only the, the basketball piece, but the character piece of uh, helping your teammate out, leaning into being a great teammate right now. Uh, and so that challenge of pulling for the guy that's next to you, and you might not be getting minutes, and he might be getting minutes more than you. And uh, that's kind of where we are as a group. And I said that to the group. This is not going to be a one-man show. We, we don't have the one-man show. It's going to be a collective unit, and we got to understand that and approach the game that way and play with a nastiness in all honesty, about us at the beginning of the game uh, to set a tone and, and aggressiveness, and, and uh, we just have to play that way. Uh, so it's an unfortunate lesson for us. I hope we learn the lesson extremely quick. And uh, tell Coach Donovan to send me his practice plan from the, uh, from the All-Star break. Their guys were spry. They uh, had juice. You give them credit. I told them we got to own this, this loss. Uh, so, so give uh, Billy uh, a lot for having this group ready. Jacques, of all the things you guys would probably miss from Kevin and Kyrie, it's you know their ability to get a basket whenever you really need one and just kind of heat up quickly. I mean, you know, Chicago scored the first, I think, 11 or so of the game. I mean, when, when you guys just can't buy a bucket now, just is there anything you can kind of do to maybe facilitate the offense in a different way or is it just a thing you have to kind of live with and work through? You know, and, and during that stretch, Alex, we got some good looks. The ball just didn't go in for us. And so uh, that's going to happen again for us. And I think when we get in – avenues like that as a team, uh, you have to make an unselfish play. And so it might take you running from the corner all the way up to the top to set a screen. As a small, as a big, the multiple efforts everyone talks about on the defensive end of the floor. But for us, it's going to be multiple efforts on the offensive end of the floor. So I might be a decoy. I might just have to run into a play to create some sort of momentum for our group, and I might not get the rock. Uh, and we got to be okay with that. So it's the multiple efforts on the offensive end of the floor uh, that we're going to have to work on. And you look at the Boston game that was the blowout earlier in the month. I mean, it seems like both of these, you know, halfway through the first quarter just kind of felt like, you know, all the air was kind of out on your guys. I mean, how, how much of that do you attribute to them just kind of having a hot start and not being able to hit back and respond versus, you know, some, some other factors? I, I always do understand the human nature of this thing. When the ball's not going in for you, it is tougher to play defense on the other end uh, when you're not scoring the basketball. So I, I give our guys uh, understanding. Uh, but I – you know me, I'm always trying to have an edge mentally of not giving in to those opportunities when the ball isn't going in. Can you do something else to uh, uh, be an additional teammate? Can you do something else to give us an advantage, whether it's boxing out drumming and he goes over your back? Something to give us a little bit to start a run. And so that's the mental edge we have to have uh, as a group. When you, and you've always, since you've gotten, you've been talking about no excuses, no alibis, what have you. I mean, when you're down 50, that's not – that goes beyond a little bit of a talent deficit, though. I mean, that's clearly a mentality. Um, I guess just, A, how disappointing was it to see that lack of mentality and fight that you've been preaching since – the day you took over from Steve. Yeah, and it's really what I said before the game, is uh, we really have to be the hardest playing team in the NBA. It's just when we don't, 
this, this can happen, Brian, for sure. When we're not playing as hard uh, than the team across from us. And uh, I'm going to continue to, to work on the culture and the mentality that way because I think that can carry uh, now and going forward. Uh, I'm going to continue to challenge our guys that this is unacceptable as a group. Uh, I want them to own it, to own it and uh, respond. But we have to create a mentality, a culture of not having an excuse and figuring out a way to, to get it done. That was a much leader. Usually you're in here very quickly. Yes. And, you know, we saw you walking in with your coaches to go in there. Was that something that you wanted to hash out with your coaches? Or was that something you wanted to give those guys in there time to stew on what just happened and start working this out for themselves? It's a little bit of all of the above. You, can, I, can I answer uh, all of the above? D, is that D? <laughs> I'll go D, all of the above. Uh, so... I was looking at the analytic piece uh, for a little longer than, than normal, uh, so I took a look at that. I gave guys a little chance to uh, unwind in the locker room uh, and sit in it a little bit, and if they wanted to discuss it, they could. Um, but I also was probably a little longer in what I said to them than normal, uh, just because I am looking forward to how we respond. Uh, I told them to own this thing. Uh, we, we got our tails kicked. Uh, give them credit. So probably a little longer than I normally speak with the group, uh, getting our plans uh, together for tomorrow because of the early game in Atlanta. Uh, so I was doing a little bit of everything today. Chuck, do you think maybe the reality of, you know, Katie and Kyrie being gone and you guys are a new team, this is who we are, it's just kind of sinking in. Everything was happening so fast right before the All-Star game. You have a break and now people know this is the team we are and we have to figure it out? Or? You know, I do. The human nature part of it, guys, had a lot going on. And they had a lot going on before the All-Star break and uh, during the All-Star break trying to get their lives in order. Okay. There you go. Okay. Now, lives in order. Now, it's time. And that's what we talked about those two days of practice is it's time. There is no wasting. Like, uh, if you have to speed up the process, then we got to work on speeding up the process. And so that's all of the above. That's your life. That's your responsibility. That's uh, uh, being part of the team. We need to speed it up. The 29 first half points, do you attribute that slow start more to just lack of energy getting into some of the sets or more so just some of the shooting variants that you touched on earlier? Yeah, I think it's going to be a big piece of, of the shooting um, because – with that group who starts, you know, going into the game, I think their defensive rating was like 88, some crazy when those five are together. That's, that's insane. And so for us to give up 30 points basically in the first quarter, it just doesn't add up. That's just not matching. So I didn't overreact with the guys. I said, I've seen these before in my career going into the All-Star break and coming out of the All-Star break. We were a culprit coming out of the All-Star break. Uh, and so they had more juice. They flew around. They were more physical, more aggressive, all of the above. Uh, but we end up being the culprit of coming out of the All-Star break, not ready.